Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. All right, looking at a 2006, probably 2007 is probably the year. The same for a Chevy Cobalt 2.2 liter doing a thermostat because of a code for the coolant PO128. You can actually see the rubber jammed in there, keeping it from closing all the way. So that's the problem. It's pretty darn easy to get to. Right back here. Right there. Two 10 millimeter bolts just holding in place. Here's my thermostat. The tools I used, I used a pair of pliers and a long nose needle nose because the clamp was in the way for me. So you can see I moved the clamp back on the hose. Here's my new thermostat right here. Now the thermostat is installed. You can see which end is up and which one is down and sitting in the groove. Just put that back in place. Put in our two 10 millimeter bolts. And that will be about it. Pretty darn simple for remove and replace thermostat. And again, just had to slide that clamp a little bit so you need a pair of players if yours is also in the way and we'll just put that back in place and we'll try and put the clamp right back on the marks you can see the marks on the hose we'll try and line those up here's my quarter inch and in extensions for doing the job pretty easily reach them We'll put the clamp on and then we'll uh, add some coolant also to take off the assembly that goes over here. Take the oil cap off, left to loosen right there. Take the oil cap off. This assembly comes off right here. It's got a couple friction fits is all. Right over here some fittings here and here. It just kind of slides on, slides on a little posts right there as well. So you can see the post right there. And I'm not sure what's over here, but then there's one right here as well. So just uh, that's how it comes off and you just push it back on. I was getting the uh, player's best reach, I think, right back here for me. With just regular players, kind of like this. And that's how I was getting the hose clamp if you need to get it to move it. This vehicle still has a regular orange Dex Cool in it, so we're going to be topping it off or adding that fluid back in. That 50 50 mix. And we're going to bring it uh, just above the full cold. There's cold, full fill right there. 
So we're gonna just add, I'm gonna add a little water now, I added coolant. And we're just gonna, like I said, fill it up to the, whoop, that's water, we can spill a little water. Good rinsing agent. We gotta clean the engine off with a garden hose anyway because of the coolant they came out with the thermostat. All right, so then they want us to run this, put the cap on, and they want you to run it for two to three minutes at uh, 1500 to 2000 RPM, something like that. And then let it idle for 30 seconds and then shut it off and then uh, top it off if necessary. That's what the directions as I read them uh, wanted us to do. So we'll just do that. It's going down a little bit, so we're gonna add some more. So we'll just follow that procedure and we'll top it off. We'll go for test drive six or seven miles. We'll come back and double check it after it's cooled off. Just make sure it's at the proper mark as indicated on the bottle. So I'm on about the two minute mark here running. Got the temperature set on hot. Got it blowing, got it blowing in my face here. Coming out here, get some heat. Usually a good sign that uh, fluid is flowing, coolant's flowing the way it's supposed to. And we'll probably have no problem just uh, let it idle for 30 seconds and uh, topping it off as the instructions stated. Apparently it's not going to be too hot for us to open up the cap because I'm sure they would have warned us about that. So, uh, looking good. Uh, pretty easy job for you. Good luck to you.